This pilot has been a very rewarding experience for me. I've learned so much about myself. I have learned a lot about the science of reading and what that looks like in the classroom. And I have also learned the joy that can be brought into the classroom when we are piloting a new series and how much we can learn from each other when we do this. The biggest challenge for us this year has been really to just manipulate all of the resources that are there. There's so many, it's jam-packed, and you have to prioritize in the beginning and choose where, where to start and then add the rest in as you figure out your time and your rhythm. Thinking about how you're going to implement your lessons. It's taken time, but taking into account the students' needs, it has come with time. There is this really deep cultural uh, connection in all of these stories that I feel like I was lacking before. Um, this week we're doing things about cultural dances, we did the Beatles last week with music, and the kids are walking around now singing We All Live in a Yellow Submarine. I like the Beatles story we read. I look forward to it because reading new things can be like exciting, like if you like don't know anything about the book or dancing, you could like be excited to learn more about it. The most rewarding thing has been seeing how much the students have grown since the beginning of the year, seeing how much they enjoy the program. In terms of differences, we see kids with a consumable book in front of them that they are writing right in. They are actively taking notes right alongside of the story. We do explicit phonics instruction as part of our skills block, and we also have a content-rich um, building knowledge program that goes along with it. It's more realistic. It's more uh, lifelike and that's what you would do when you were studying on your own. We still do whole group instruction and small group instruction in our tier one and that is very similar to what we've done in the past years. It's so interwoven throughout the day because there's so many pieces that instead of just having this one little ELA reading chunk, there's so many other ways to incorporate it. We start with our foundational skills block. So that is a time when we teach explicit phonics instruction that is aligned to the science of reading. We do a whole group comprehension block where students are reading decodable materials and looking for evidence in their stories. And their favorite part of the day, in my opinion, is the knowledge part of it where we are building content knowledge in science, social studies, and geography. We start with some guided reading groups. We have these great decodable readers in the Rigby library that we use, and we can pick different levels for different groups. But also at that time, kids are working on fluency passages orally. Um, they're also working on vocab sheets in their Know It, Show It books, which are a great little addition to our reading book that they're using. And then we have shared reading where we're actually using the the consumable anthology and then later in the day when we have intervention we're able to throw in some word work skills, some phonic skills, um, some of the writing target skills so that we can pick the pieces that are most important and make sure that they're getting hit multiple times throughout the day. The students absolutely seem to love the program. They love the decodable readers. They are very engaged with the stories. Um, they are reading very well. They love the new and different stories and the pictures and the videos that go along with it. There are some great graphics that follow it. There's interactive pieces that really engage them for things like vocabulary that they really enjoy. Um, and honestly, they love writing in the books. It's always like fun, because like you never know what my teacher is going to bring up. I like how we all get to like um, sit on the carpet and all read together and I like how sometimes the stories are like funny and then sometimes they're serious. Like because it, it interests me on how things work. They collaborate with each other and have wonderful conversations. One of the biggest pieces was the phonics that we really um, grabbed onto this year because we saw a need. And what's nice about this program is you can target that one need and really just hone in on it. So we did a little diagnostic test in the beginning and it showed a lot of red for our grade level just in terms of what skills they had mastered and which ones they hadn't. Almost all of that red has become green and it's amazing to see. Some advice I would have would be to take one day at a time, um, collaborate with your colleagues, your team, and get ideas from them. And most definitely you want to be able to read ahead in the materials, 
and think about how you're going to implement the material that is coming up. Give yourself some grace and some time with it. Um, it's overwhelming in the beginning, but when you talk to your colleagues, talk to us, the people who piloted it, um, we've figured out some really great tips and tools and talk together, plan together. Every time we get together as a pilot team, when we're meeting, we're constantly sharing new things with each other. Just relax, give yourself some time, take it at your own pace. Don't feel like you have to include everything right away. The students have grown immensely from the beginning of the year. I would say I've seen their confidence grow tremendously in reading. They want to read. I've seen their growth um, as far as the reading skills and their knowledge that they're bringing to reading. And just their overall excitement for the material that they're learning has been such a rewarding part to see on my end. 